So the rules... Okay, so vanilla and PC. Okay. So I pay PC and modded. First of all. Um, but then again, I play a very advanced through game. So IRL, I'm a city planner in real life. I blend that into the game and that back out. But the concepts are the same. So with roads and traffic, it's... Um, uh, before we crack into the mods... So the universal rule is you have to do what's called, um, called road hierarchy. Now I'll show you what that is in just a second. I just need to place down um, some interchanges. So you need to follow what is called road hierarchy. And the game has been very good in that it's already been done for you. What you have to do is just like is just follow the way it's done and just lay it out as it should be. Now you're probably going, hey, wait, what? Road hierarchy? What the sodding hell is a road hierarchy when you're home? Well, if you let me just finish this interchange, I will be able to tell you. It sounds complex, but it's um. pretty straightforward when you when it comes down it comes down to it in the end so let me just finish this up and then i can show you it. the good thing is is you've caught me doing a new city right at the beginning where i'm doing most of my road um what's called road hierarchy so i can able to point it out so let me just lay this down and so i'll teach start with road hierarchy then we'll go into the two and uh, to the main mod you need which is traffic manager president edition Ah, damn. Derp. I just did it again. Exclamation derp. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. And then we need another one down here. Right. Hey, butt spot. Yep, Discord's just been provided below. Uh, below. Um, put it in city. This butt this. Yep, that's butt spot being. Uh. Okay, yeah, so you've caught me right in the middle of starting a new city. It's the best time to do it. Yeah, Discord's there. Place it under City Skylines picks, please. And I'll take a look at it. So, road hierarchy. You need to do basic road hierarchy. So, roads in real life and City Skylines are the same. Small to large, large to small. Each has a different function. Each has a different reason. Each has an optimum efficiency rate. For example, you do not throw all your main traffic down a tiny road. And you do not place houses on a super large one. Well, you shouldn't. Doesn't stop the planners doing it. But, okay. Now, the game is intuitive in that it's done it for you. Left to right. From tiny roads to highways or in the case of the commonwealth because i reside in new zealand so in new zealand australia the uk and japan or there's a lot of commonwealth nation they do follow our laws traffic um, laws motorways so your motorways are the official name for them is a limited access road limited access means a um very few um mode types can access it because it's designed for high speed so you're not going to find pedestrians or agriculture traffic on it and not many interchanges so that's your highest category road so all maps will come with this is a custom map by the way will, will come with their motorways so that's for moving what people at very high speed one end to the other and then in and out of the city now just to add another layer of complexity you have what's called the intercity motorways so we do have examples of this. This is an intercity motorway. That's an intercity motorway. That's an intercity motorway. That is not an intercity motorway. That is not an intercity motorway. 
that's an intra-city motorway. So intra-city is designed for moving cars around that very and trucks around at very high seat within the city. Intra-city and intercity don't mix, keep them separated, but they can link together. So that's the motorway. So that's for moving things either across the map long distance or in and out of the city. Uh, what did I forget about? Did I forget something? Oh, yes, South Africa. Yes, sorry, the Republic. <laughs> it's amazing I forget that part of the world, even though Pirate is one of my mods here. Rip. Okay, so... That's your highways, or your motorways. Intercity, intracity. Design high speed to move cars across one end of the map to the other, or in and out of the city. Nothing can be zoned on them for obvious reasons. Do not place lots of interchanges on them either. Keep your interchanges very few and far between, especially on the intercity, and even so on the intra. So from that, you come down to your large roads. In the game, vanilla, these are your big six lane sodders. Um, if you're playing modded like I am, you can step up to eight lanes. Um, I've got some vanilla plus roads in here. Um, you can get them with trams. And you've got this four lane, uh, five lane one ways. And the six lane one ways. So these roads have a speed limit of 60 kilometers an hour. The motorways have a speed limit of 100 km an hour. So from the motorway comes your big six laners. They take your cars to and from the motorways. So you can see there's an intercity, intercity motorway here. That comes off an intercity motorway. Same again. You've got an intercity motorway here with a spur. And then what you'll see here is, an, in this instance, an eight-laner. Um, the motorway ends here, so this is a roundabout. So you'll see an eight-laner taking the cars off it. And over here, a six-laner. Although it's made up of two... Sorry, not that one. Um, yeah, a six-laner. So these arterial roads are the next step down. So they take cars to and from the motorway. They can also move cars at reasonably across the map. Thank you. I'll take a look. I'll take a look um, probably um, post stream. So they take your cars and they move cars at medium distances about halfway across the map optimally. Zoning wise, nothing should be on them either. If you do need to zone, just do office because it doesn't generate traffic or freight. But do place your civic infrastructure like police, fire and ambulance on it because that's where they dispatch from and then they can access the city at reasonable speeds. So those are the big six laners. Again, keep your intersections not as few and far between but a little bit closer than a motorway but not too close like a tiny road. Next down is the medium roads. This is this one and your small roads are the mainstays of inside your urban environment. So from the six laner comes down your medium roads. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to help too much because I'm using eight what's called asymmetricals, and they are not available vanilla. But these would be your four laners, and they serve as a what would be a district. So if this was to be the city centre, you've got the arterial there the six laner there and there the four laners come off that and those four laners are collectors so they collect from the tiny roads into the arterials and they click from the arterials back into the small and tiny roads can you zone on them yes commercial because of the customer traffic generated and depending on how your city's laid out high density residential but just watch what's around the area as well from that we come down to small roads so these are just your two laners 
in most cases. They come off the four laners, periodically a six laner, but then they form the guts on what's in here. So you can see here, this is a four laner. That feeds up to the six lane and eight laners that feed up to the motorway and back down. This will be filled in with small roads. This is where the guts of the city is. This is where your residential and commercial go and industry if you're doing industry. Do not place industry on um, collectors feeding into a motorway or six laners. You're going to back your traffic up. So that's your small roads. That's where the guts is done. And then you've got your tiny roads for various things. So I do things like what's called laneways. Don't worry about it. Um, that's if you want to get really advanced. So that's with vanilla. The next thing you've got to watch is how these arrows are configured out. So lane management comes in. Will do, and yeah, I'll um, have a look. So watch how your lane configurations are. One moment, guys. So now it comes down your lane configurations. Now, you might have heard me earlier say asymmetricals. I'll show you why in a minute. So how are your lanes turning out? Okay. They should be following following up. So lane, what's called lane mathematics starts kicking in. You would have seen me play around with this. So normally interchanges like this go 331. It's okay for off ramps, but here you're gonna get a traffic jam. Make it a four, so you got something on, and then they can move over. So how are your turning lanes turning out? Are they matching what they're feeding into? If they're not, you're gonna get congestion straight um straight away. In fact, I'm just saw a point where I need to do it now. Traffic lights are fine. But just remember, they cause congestion. To beat that, use giveaways or build roundabouts. Roundabouts are your friends. So as you can see here, we're sitting on one, two, three, four, five, six round. Uh, is it six? Six roundabouts so far. Roundabouts are OP or overpowered. Woohoo! For a reason. So that's how you do it with vanilla. Mods, yep, your main one is Traffic Manager President Edition, so that controls your turning lanes, um, your lane connectors, speed restrict speed limits, vehicle restrictions, great for when you're doing things like laneways um, and bus lanes, junction restrictions and priority. Another thing it also does is, I haven't done it for this city yet, so let's do it now. Not real time, that is extremely advanced. As you can configure up not German your dip we'll switch to British signs for this one uh, no we're not doing MPH this is um, could be a uh, metric so simulation accuracy high so now we're going to do the game. So driver, reckless drivers, minor complaints. Individual driving styles. If I ever find those cars and get an iron cannon, they're going to know about it. Don't disable the sporting, advance the vehicle AI, turn lane selection up. Don't enable this unless you've got a very powerful PC. Prevent unnecessary transfers so they don't skip everywhere. Buses may ignore lane arrows. Um, that's helpful with intersections. Vehicles do do do. No, that's uh, I take control of these manually. Turn that on. This is a good. One. Now this you have to be careful with if you have bus lanes. So I do use bus lanes because I run buses. 
So you've got to be careful in some instances, trucks won't be able to access commercial. So be very careful. And also intersections, and I'll show you what I mean, how you get around it. I don't worry about that. Overlays, maintenance, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So that's TMP, TMPE. Now you would have seen the vehicle, bus lane res restrictions enabled. So what I've done, the bus lane here stopped. The bus lane ran up to here. Cars and trucks wouldn't be able to turn left. Okay, the lane configuration gives, gives me a double, so technically I can run it up, but I don't want to. So if, for example, I do have an example here. No cars or trucks can turn right out of there. So you've got to be very careful how you set the configuration up or your traffic's going to be doing loops. So that's more advanced gameplay. So that's why you'll see me do this. Drop the lane just before the intersection. Another advanced technique, and I can see chat, is also using asymmetricals. So watch this. Two. 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 So, because there's conflicting movements, the trucks are going to end up stopping. So, this is now configuring your roads to handle the traffic properly. Ooh, scuff stream. Wrong way. Yep. So, let me just reconfigure this quickly. Uh, no. Thank you. So what I've done just using a road is, and I'm going to need TMP to set that up, uh, wrong one. So this is now using your lane mathematics. Two straight ahead, two straight ahead, dedicated right hand turn to turn into here, left hand would come into this side, your traffic's moving. Okay, yeah, so your yeah, next one is zoning. Zoning is important. Left to right again. So this is going to be commercial residential. Commercial residential should always mix. Always mix your commercial residential and office. If, you get off, if you're doing office. But always mix your residential and commercial. It cuts down the, it cuts down the commuting because sims are likely to walk or bike. There is one exception to that rule. Leisure. Do not place any residential in your leisure districts. So commercial is just commercial. Tourism is tourism. It does cause noise, but it's not known to upset the residents that much. This will your commercial zones are fully active and it generates as much noise as a monorail and it's the noisiest asset in the game minus the airport never place residential inside a leisure specialization area the amount of noise will have your residents riot so that's the only exception industry of course is separate so in this case the industry is going over here so there's the port so the industry will be initially in here so in the flow of goods commercial residential in out in out in out and i'll be using warehouses from the industry dlc to stable it to even out the troughs and then we've got the intercity connection of course when we expand this way there'll be more industry over here and of course because we've got industries dlc where are my resources So plenty of farmland. Um, forestry is a bit of a, a bit of a crapshoot. Or is here oil is here and here. I'm not going um, forestry in there, so that would probably just get extended out to forestry. So I'll use the forest brush tool. Farming is all in here and maybe in here. One thing I can do is I've got this available. 
Uh, no, no. Yes. 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 Hello. Yes. I take, um, turn that off. Works nicely. And then if I need to create it's for sheets right. So I hope that helps with traffic. Traffic hierarchy, lane management, zoning. The big three. And that's just all vanilla. I did give a brief into, into um, preview into TMPE. That just helps you just do tinkering. We have another streamer, another Cities player here called Davey, as he will say, TMP does not fix shit road layout, it optimizes good road layout. So, I hope that helps. Um, if you need um, more playthrough, as I said, I do pretty much, I do a lot of advanced playthrough, but we'll ha answer any questions, more than happy to. If you're looking for uh, more tips and tricks, on um, lane management and that for vanilla see a player called Taradra who streams so he's spout uh, he's doing mine uh, that is not that so so Taradra when he does that he does a lot of vanilla playthrough so he can um, he's a great asset as well to help you with how to do it with vanilla and then the other one is the other two are imperial jedi or kaz gem um all three are friends of the stream so they will they are along modded lines as well so yeah i hope i hope that has helped uh, thank you for the follow um, as I said, as the city continues to advance, we'll be doing more um, advanced playthrough. So we really knuckle down to things like laneways, bus lanes, priority measures. Um, you'll start seeing me playing around with features called transit malls and pedestrian malls. It gets real fun. So the last thing we're going to do before we're going to say hello to Pirate's favourite scuff streamer. And he better be streaming tonight. He wasn't on Monday and I was a bit... Um... Disappointed to be honest. As we'll just finish up this yump, these two Yumble interchanges. And then we'll hand over, and then we'll be back tomorrow at 7 p um, might be slightly, but anywhere between 16 and 7 for more City Skylines as we try and get our zoning set down. Dude. Is he not on? What's. Shoot, is he online at all tonight, or is he still away? Let me just check his Discord. Otherwise, we're going to be a bit. Um, I might be seeing Captain Obvious. Oh, he's taking tonight as well. Uh, no, so he's not on tonight. Okay, so no, we won't be running um, Scuff Streamer. It's being Morgan's going to tell him off when he's back on Friday, and I won't be here Friday either. Friday or Saturday, I'll be away. Okay. Um, who's online currently, Pirate? Do we know? Uh, what's today? Wednesday. I don't think Captain's on yet. Apologies for the glitches. Do, 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 do. Don't be a zero shoot. Oh, far out. Oh, is bloody Drongo on? Morgan's going to tell him off when he's back on Friday. And I won't be here Friday either. Friday or Saturday, I'll be away. 
All right. So we're going to be a bit short tonight. That's okay. We'll pick up an extra 20, 30 minutes then. I'll see if Captain comes online. Right. So let's get in the next interchange. Again, another Yumble special. Oh, this one's going to be a bit tight because there's a tunnel. Yep. That is going to be very tight. Okay, so that's going to be... Um, Sal's there to do. A complete Sal's there to do. Alright. And a roundabout interchange won't work either before someone asks. No one in cities? Yeah, no, um... I'll see if the Aussies are online. The Aussies should be online soon. So I'll see what Bloody John goes up to. Because, um... One thing you can be relied upon is you should be able to... I should be able to raid... The Nook community safely, so... I'm just hoping the Aussies might be up. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are, to, in all honesty, a bit hard to stream off, um, right off. It's nothing major, it's just... Uh. And before someone tells me, yeah, I know the road's facing the wrong way. Thank you for saying the obvious. Um, that is going to be a case of, can I use the threesies? Yep. Okay, so we've got our two Yumbo interchanges. Yes! Brilliant. And <laughs> the problem is I have to go and configure them. Okay, let's push through the ninth there. I'm hoping I might catch someone else on. So, doo -doo. I think we're going to do a, a threes. Uh, how's that set up? Is that set for a three? So yeah, that is set for a three. But what's the configuration set to? Two should be enough. So that would be... Um, shiza, that's gonna have to be all... This is just going to be a little bit messy for the moment. So just give me a second, team. Where's that roundabout there? Let's hope it's not a nodal. Shoot, it's a nodal. Damn. Okay. Nodals are a little bit of a pain in the butt to work with. And they're not... Not the... They're not the biggest ass to work with, it's just a case of, oh, whoop de doo Okay. Okay, so...
Okay, so that's done. I need to just do this quickly. I hate when it does that. It's a real pain in the butt. It's like, no, you sodding game. See, this is quite funny. This is like, ha ha ha. Yep, so that's set up properly. Do 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 do. Yep, that's all set up. So that's the asymmetricals in action. So that's that one. Oh shoot. Yeah. And yeah, I think we're going to leave it there tonight. So tomorrow when we come back on, we'll finish stitching up this particular road. Oh, is that a graphical glitch? No, it's the name just showing up. Okay, so tomorrow we'll stitch up this road. Because that's actually going to serve the industry. So tomorrow we should be able to do the industry and start stitching this all up 